I know what you're thinking. Didn't you just do one of these? Yeah, well, I completely forgot about this. So here we are with the Pixel XL2. You guys like the Pixel XL1 unboxing from last year, so I figured I'd do this one as well. This time I'm going to try to let Ripley open it as much as possible, but keep in mind that she's not like a parrot where their bills can be used as tools as easily. Uh, their bills are more made for plucking and things like that, so... She has good dexterity with it, but there's not a lot of strength behind it. So I'm going to help her if she <laughs> if she can't get some of this stuff up, I will help her. But um, I'm going to mostly try to let her just do it by herself instead of just having her interact with me as I do it. She's still... You know, she's probably going to be more interested in the box itself. Ripley, it's over here, look. Back of the box. Oh, there she goes. Maybe. Just in case you guys are actually interested in the phone. Um, I'm going to try not to go to, there I'll just show her these little tabs here. She'll get it, oh. there she goes, oh, oh crap. Hopefully she doesn't, like, knock it off or something. <laughs> the plastic is way more fascinating to her. What do you think of that bird? She seems to get hung up on, like, the weirdest things. I think she's kind of hung up, hung up on that little tab there. Oh, crap. This is hard to do with one hand. Oh, oh, <laughs> well, there's your drop test, guys. Let's see if this phone is toucan-proof. There's an idea. Maybe we'll just do, like, toucan-proof videos. It's a true way to know if something is worth it or not. If it can survive the withstanding of a toucan attack, then you know it's good. Thankfully, this did survive. I think she's more interested in the plastic, though. When I first got her, she was super interested in trying to take the case off my phone all the time. So she would try to carry it off and drop it all the time, and... It was always a huge pain in the butt, but she's kind of lost interest lately. I'm going to try not to go into specifics on, you know, specs and stuff like that when it comes to the phone. Because, I mean, let's be honest. You're not here for the phone, you're here for the bird. If you want a good review or an unboxing or something, and there's plenty of other YouTubers out there that are going to do a much better job than I. I've had Google phones since the Nexus 6. Before that I had Samsung and Asus and Apple. And so far I've really liked the Nexus and Pixel phone. Oops the Nexus and Pixel phones because they marry the Android software, which I really like, well with the hardware in a way that Apple kind of does with their iOS and their iPhones. And I'm not, I'm not really a fan of Apple or their software, but 
I'm also not really a fan of Samsung and other companies putting a bunch of bloatware on all their phones, so this is a good balance between the two. And this has an amazing camera on it too, so this makes it great for taking stupid bird videos. <laughs> Wonder how long before she loses complete interest. Try to get this out of the way. Maybe she'll be interested in something else in here. Oh, here she is. Something new. Look, this comes up. She may have already lost interest in it. <laughs> oh yeah, the best part, the cardboard spacer. Okay, I cut because the washing machine was on and it was driving me crazy, so I turned it off. <laughs> but we're back now, and oh hey, there's a uh, USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter. I didn't know it came with this. For some reason, I thought that there was an uproar because Google did not include this and was charging like 25 or 30 dollars for it or something like that. And this particular phone does not have a headphone jack kind of like iPhones did last year, so to some people that's a big deal. It's not a huge deal to me because I don't really use it. I mostly use Bluetooth, but it would be nice if they just moved everything to USB-C, though. I think this is a really good enrichment activity for birds, actually, for some reason. I wouldn't recommend it with a parrot. Actually, I wouldn't recommend it with any bird, <laughs> because you never know what they could do. But, especially not a parrot, because they will definitely cut cords in half or break phones with their beak. But for a toucan that's very gentle with their beak and can't really put a lot of pressure down, it really gets her gears turning in her head. And I find that a lot of times she's more motivated to figure things out if there's toys or just something interesting and unique than if there's food at stake. So she's always interested in whatever I'm doing or whatever I'm opening or whatever I'm doing with my hands on the computer or controllers, phones, anything like that. And of course the ever popular box. She found the case. Ooh, plastic. Fun crinkly noises. And no, before you ask, she's not going to suffocate herself with this like a kid. <laughs> Her nostrils are at the very base of her skull and bill, kind of like where they meet on the top. So it would be really hard for her to get something over top of it. Plus I'm watching her. She's probably going to want this paper in here. She loves paper. Anything that makes a crinkly noise, she's completely into. Kind of hard for her to. See. Oh, there she goes. It's kind of hard for her to see into there. <laughs> Nothing else in there. Oh, 
all empty. Guess you're stuck with the paper. Yep, it's empty. No matter how many times you look. When she cocks her head like that, she's trying to look at something more closely. And she can't really see over her bill. Binocularly, so... When she wants to get a closer look, she has to cock her head. She's about done. <laughs> there she goes. 